The ghost now takes Scrooge to his present life, but forward to Christmas Day. They first visit the Cratchits. Bob and his very ill son, Tiny Tim, have just arrived home. Tiny Tim had a little crutch and an iron frame. Why, where's our Martha? cried Bob Cratchit, looking round. Not coming, said Mrs Cratchit. Not coming, said Bob, on Christmas Day? Martha didn't like to disappoint her father, even as a joke. She rushed out from behind the closet door and ran into his arms. The two young Cratchits took Tiny Tim to see the Christmas pudding. And how did little Tim behave? asked Mrs Cratchit when Bob had hugged his daughter. Very well, said Bob. Tiny Tim is growing stronger. Tiny Tim returned, his little crutch banging against the floor. His brother and sister took him to his stool before the fire. Then the two young Cratchits went to get the goose. They soon returned with a tiny bird. All the family helped prepare Christmas dinner. The two young Cratchits set places for everybody to eat. Bob sat beside Tiny Tim. At last the dishes were ready. A murmur of delight arose all around the table. Even Tiny Tim beat on the table with the handle of his knife and feebly cried, Hooray! There never was a goose like this one, said Bob, as they ate every last crumb of the food before them. Then it was time for Mrs Cratchit to serve the Christmas pudding. Oh, what a wonderful pudding, Bob Cratchit said to his wife. The best you have ever made. Everybody had something nice to say about it. No Cratchit said or thought it was a small pudding for a large family.